It's a Jamaican thing, y'all. So if you're watching and you're not from Jamaica and you're like, oh my gosh, that's so This is all the stuff from the delivery. You're holding up so nice, Rainy Puka. Oh! That's it. Jesus, you bite them strong. Conspicuous. <laughs> What's up, my beautiful people? It's only me. It's only me. And I'm wearing a hat because I didn't go my hair. But anyways, I hope you guys are doing fantastic. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So guys, it is a new week. I'm actually starting this vlog a bit late. It's actually Tuesday. I was supposed to start the vlog yesterday. Why is he coming? Oh my gosh, sir. You need to like you need to slow down. I don't get why people be driving so fast now. Is it just me that's not in a hurry to get to anywhere? Is it worth it? Oh my gosh. I always learn, you know. Always leave home on time so you're not speeding and getting angry at people on the road. But yet still we leave late and still get angry at people on the road. <laughs> we can't help ourselves, right? But yeah, just always remember that though. If you want to get to a place on time, make sure that you're leaving for your journey on time. Don't be like these folks trying to run people off the road and crash into people's car and all sorts, you know? But anywho, I am just headed to go and get Shakela from school. I thought I could make this light, but I could not make the light. Yes, yeah, so I'm headed to go and get Shakela from school right now. Rupa is not with me on this journey to get Shakela from school. He normally comes with me in the afternoons and most mornings, but he's asleep. He went to the nap time a bit late, so he was still sleeping. So I couldn't um, take this hat off my face a little bit. Like I have it solo, like I'm hiding from somebody, huh? Yeah, so he couldn't come with me. But what I wanted to tell you guys, y'all know like a couple weeks ago I posted in the community about us reaching six thousand subscribers. I know most I know some of y'all some of y'all were like, Congrats, congrats, you know, but oh my gosh guys, can you believe that we actually made it to six thousand subscribers? Can you comment below if you are in my first 100 subscribers like do you remember were you in the first 100 500 the first thousand two thousand like what point was i at do you remember you probably won't even remember it's all right if you don't remember but if you do you can comment that down below like when did you join the channel right what was the first video that you watched because i'm so i'm just so happy that we're at six thousand i'm always forever grateful welcome again to all of the new subscribers we actually got most of you guys subscribed from watching all the reels you know all the family content surrounding my babies and my postpartum and all of that um that's where most of you guys actually came from um and i'm so appreciative that you guys decided to join us on this journey and everything watch the babies grow oh my gosh i'm super happy that you guys decided to hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit the post notification bell as well so that you're notified every time i drop a new vlog all right but um yeah guys thanks again and welcome and i hope you stick around i hope you stick around and continue to watch and enjoy the vlogs thanks to all of the day ones all of the people that decide to come back to the channel to keep watching the vlogs because it ain't everybody that come back but if you do keep coming back i love you love you love you love you and i appreciate you even if you don't come back as often i still appreciate you because you're still subscribed and you're still checking with your girl every now and then when you can all right so i appreciate that too yeah <laughs> yeah but if anything i'll catch up with you guys probably a bit later i don't have any plans today it's tuesday and i don't have any plans today we'll see what happens the rest of this week so just stay tuned stay tuned you know how we do we just start a vlog and wherever we end up we end up so we'll see i'll catch you guys in the next clip whenever that is <laughs> <laughs> so it is the next day hi Rainy boom boom hello bunga bunga hi sweet girl yes please hello it's the next day and miss boom boom here is doing tummy time she's enjoying her little tummy time ah. Ah, ah. are you done look at boom boom you holding up so nice Rainy puka you cute self who's so cute <laughs> morning y'all it's a new day it's a new day i am just about to go and make some porridge for breakfast so i'm getting my ingredients cornmeal yeah fancy some cornmeal porridge today and river loves corn did that y'all know river love you porridge come here Ruby. come tell them good morning good morning <laughs> 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 so he's 
to it on that chair. Over there, I always try it on the chair. I don't know why. Honestly, this stool. But yeah, I'm gonna go make some porridge breakfast. Yes, I have the water on already, and it looks brown because I put cinnamon in there. Yeah, and then I add it to the pot. So I'm just mixing it around. I don't know if you guys make comment porridge. You can tell you this is the way you do it because if you tr if I throw the raw cornmeal in the hot water, I don't know it gets lumpy. Unless it's just me that ain't full of skills, but this is how I do it. And then I just throw this in, and it's so much easier. This is how I was taught to make it, so I just kind of just stuck with it. So yeah, really stop messing with the machine. That's all he's done here, just messing with the machine, you know. Ah, here he is. You see the pot of water? It's hot, don't touch it. Hot. Yeah. Let me show you guys how I do it. So this is how I do it. I just put some nutmeg in there. I put cinnamon in there already. And vanilla essence. This is the essence that I put in there. This is what it looks like, y'all. This is my cornmeal porridge. I have to hear rain crying. Yeah, I need to go feed rain right now. To the right there. What's up, Bum Bum? You telling on that, huh? What do you do? Y'all hear her crying in the kitchen? Crying from in the kitchen, huh, Bum Bum? Yeah. Why are you crying? What happened? Oh. What? What's the matter? Mm? Oh, no. Oh, okay, all right. Okay, all right. Come. Here you go, Bum Bum. Mm -hmm. Jeez. <laughs> Hey, Rain ate. Rain ate. I went. I did the school run this morning, so I took Shakela to school. But I fed Rain like after seven. Right now it is. Yeah, probably no. She shouldn't even be hungry right now. She probably just sleepy again. Um. Yeah, I fed her after seven, and then I left to go and drop Shakela to school with River. Rivi, can I see a monkey? You can give Rain a monkey. A monkey. <laughs> give me this. Why do you have this? I'm gonna just feed her. She's probably gonna fall asleep, and then I can go and enjoy my porridge told sean to take over from me because i wasn't quite finished so he's gonna take over from me 10 minutes later knocked out <laughs> yeah she was sleepy i don't think she was hungry really she was sleepy because she would not stop that quick i'm gonna go put her down and then i'm gonna go and enjoy my porridge sean is feeding river so i can go and enjoy my porridge so sean took it out already for me um so this is it don't mind the porridge to the side and then i guess this is his don't ask me why I have the bigger bowl. <laughs> and I'm actually gonna put some bread in mine. I like to have um, crackers in there or I put bread in there. So today I'm actually gonna put a bit of bread, just normal sliced bread, just like one slice of bread and have it with it because that's how I like it. Mm -hmm. It's not a lot of porridge, you know, it's a big bowl, but it's not a lot of porridge, all right? Look, it's actually, yeah, you know that. But I do love porridge though. I love this some porridge. Yes, I'm going to have one slice of bread with that. It's a Jamaican thing, y'all. So if you're watching and you're not from Jamaica and you're like, oh my gosh, that's so disgusting. Like, Because my co-workers always tell me that when it's me putting like crackers or in my porridge and stuff like that, they're like, oh my God, who does that? Oh my God. But yeah, it's a Jamaican thing. We put crackers in our porridge or we put bread in our porridge. So if you're Jamaican, you know, you know, you know. But yeah, if you're not, that's how we do things. <laughs> Here we go. Me treating it like this is like garnish, is it? Exquisite. <laughs> River is just here playing with his truck, running it along the couch. And we have Miss Rainy, who's in her bouncer. All right, Bum Bum? Just chilling. What does the car say? Mm -hmm. I have me die. Yeah. yeah. Does it also say beep beep? Yeah. So guys, my answer deliver is here. Yeah, Sean just emptied one and he's bringing in the other one. Yeah, I remember, did you guys watch my shorts when I did it? Sean wasn't at home. So poor me was like lifting up the crates and emptying them and stuff. So I recorded some of that for you guys. But yeah, today I have Sean, so. <laughs> right, Rainy Bobo? River's off to bed and Rain just got up a few days well we actually got like a really good routine happening like we had both river and rain sleeping at the same time in the afternoon and it was like <gasps> what and we just got to spend that really nice quality time together without the kids for like a good hour and or more it was really nice not having them awake <laughs> Just a way to be of old times. We're no kids. We're just like home by ourselves. 
yeah so it was quite nice somebody did mention though like i could use some other delivery service that they can bring your groceries straight in the house not that i want them to come straight in the house but they said they also pre-package them so they're in bags because as i did as you see it's crates that they use to deliver our groceries and not bags so it's always like a rush rush thing to empty the crate so the guy is not waiting long even though it's not a big deal but you know you don't like people standing up just waiting so you feel like you need to rush but it's basically the same thing when you go to the supermarket as well especially when we used to shop just at aldi it's like a rush rush thing because yeah right boom boom we always felt super rushed because there's a line behind us of like people waiting to cash as well the cashier is move, moving super fast to cash your stuff and then you have to bag it yourself put it in the trolley but either way the home delivery is still more convenient even though we still feel a little rushed but at least it got delivered straight to our door so that's fine boom boom let's go put you down Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Before I go to upload, upload the stuff and pack them away, I need to feed rain. <laughs> yes, I need to feed rain. We lie down to feed, yes, because both want to be comfortable. Right? She's comfortable and I'm comfortable. So I'm just going to feed her and then she's going to go to sleep. And then I can just head to the kitchen and do what I'm supposed to do. And I'll bring you guys there, maybe give you a little haul. Mm -hmm. See y'all in the kitchen. This is all the stuff from the delivery. So let's start off with the cold stuff. So I have spring onions, aka scallions. Don't tell me nothing about my nails, y'all. I'm gonna go do my nails soon. Um, I got a cap oh, this is a small cabbage. Why did they give me such a small cabbage? Oh my gosh, this is very small. But yeah, cabbage, 64p. Sweet peppers, or, you know, bell peppers. Oh, there's no green in this one. Usually I like to get a green one in there, but yeah, there's no green. Can't pick and choose when you order online, you know? Yeah. Corn on the cob. Got a bottle of milk. This is two pints of milk. Two liters of fruit juice. Some thyme. Got cheese. So usually I get these cheddar cheese, mature cheddar slices. And I also get the shredded one, but I have that already. So I didn't need that. This is basically our like top up shop, y'all. And I bought, love these grapes, by the way. So these are the black grapes and these are the red grapes. So I got three. I think I got two red grapes and one of the black grapes. But they're so sweet, y'all, from South Africa. A bag of carrots. And I have four Jamaican patties. I usually just put these in the freezer. And these are basically like our little go-to lunch. Um, if we haven't prepared anything for lunch, just pop this in the oven. And yeah, and they're pretty, they're, they're all right. I think one pound is for one, but they taste okay. They're good. I love them. And I bought a pack of bacon, streaky bacon. And then I bought a pack of chicken breasts six pounds i think is for the chicken breasts isn't it they don't have the price on it but I believe six pounds is for it and it has in four pieces next i have this pack of bananas how many bananas come seven so they look kind of green but they actually ripe within a couple of days like fully fully get right so yeah we have seven bananas we have some orange oh i bought orange i thought this was tangerine that i ordered huh why did they send me orange instead of tangerine Anywho, onions, three pack onions, some tomatoes, sweet and balanced salad tomatoes. I remember when I first came, came to England and I saw hot dogs in a jar. So these are actually put in the cupboard until we open it. And they're quite nice, you know. So if you've never seen hot dogs in a jar, like don't think that it's horrible. It don't taste horrible. At first I thought it would, but then when I tried it, I was like, yeah, I like it. Here we have garlic. And next we have rice. Told you guys that I always cook with the Asda basmati rice. And I bought a meal. Sadly, the ketchup that I ordered, they said they didn't have it. So they didn't even replace it with a different brand. I ordered a Heinz ketchup and they said it was out of stock. Two coconut milk, Island Sun. I have three Vienna sausage. Shaquilla loves these and recently River loves them now as well. <laughs> Condensed milk, three of these. And we have some Nesquik cereal. Powdered milk, you guys know I love my powdered milk. This is Nestle Nido. I have some pancakes. So these are actually fresh pancakes. Like as the baked pancakes every single day. So sometimes I get it just because it's quick. It's one pound. And this is me having to do it. Uh, we now we get this for River because he loves pancakes, y'all. So yeah. And I don't have to put any syrup or anything on it. He just eats it like that. And next thing we 
have Jamaica's favorite water crackers. So these are actually like, we call them tough crackers, water crackers. They're really hard crackers. So it's best to have it, um, if you dip it in your tea, it's quite nice. It's really hard, but they're very nice. So I bought two packs of these. I never used this curry. So I bought this small pack just to try it because they don't have the curry that I usually use. I think what we had was the better pack curry. We had a big pack of that, that is a Jamaican curry, but we ran out of it. So yeah, I decided to order this one, but we'll see how it goes. I don't know. I've never used it though. I'll let you guys know how it goes. And we have tuna. Or as the birds say, tuna. <laughs> My coworkers always make fun of me. Uh, when I say tuna fish, they're like tuna. Yeah, but yeah, I normally get it in spring water as opposed to getting it in oil. I prefer it. I don't know. In my head, it's like it's healthier that it's not in oil. I don't know. But yeah. Two packs of flour, plain flour. So next we have bleach. I bought a bottle of bleach. I've got, this is laundry cleanser. So it's good to actually add it to your lower just to kill it, kills more, you know, bacteria that maybe the soap might not. I've got a fairy liquid. This is what I used to wash the dishes. I love this brand. Three Colgate <laughs> toothbrushes, toilet paper, toilet roll. I always buy Andrix. This is the brand I use. Three body wash this is the brand. Toothpaste, only bought one. And I've got deodorant, three deodorant my dove next we have eggs is 15 eggs so i got two packs 30 eggs because we love eggs in this house so we go through a lot of eggs so that's 30 eggs these are just a little bit of snacks that i got for river so these are like oat bars he loves these strawberry and apple and this one is raspberry and apple and then we've got cyrillac biscuits he loves these as well part of what's this yeah, yogurt, banana, and oats. He loves this, so he can feed himself with this. And then these are the fruit pouches. Uh, well, yogurts. Most of them are like yogurts. So he can just squeeze those and have it like that. And that's it for the haul. Hope you guys enjoyed the little haul. I know a lot of you guys love when I do like shopping and all of that stuff. And since I'm not going out to the grocery store, I'm like, you know what? I could do the haul at home. Y'all could still see what groceries I buy and stuff like that, you know? So I decided to just do a little haul for you guys i'm gonna have lunch now so these are i don't know if you remember when i went sh did i take you guys well usually when i go shopping i always buy baguettes so i have some mini baguettes here that i just took out of the oven which i'm gonna just have with some cheese water and that's lunch <laughs> yeah so that's it i'll see you guys in the next clip hey Boga Luga. guys we're heading on the road now so I just got Rain dressed. Rain, why do you look like a little boy right now? Eh, eh. Look at you, boom boom. You made me a river here now. <laughs> All right, y'all. I just got Madam Kayla from school. And as you can see, look at me now. With three children in full of the back seat. Like, I don't have any space for another passenger. The three seats at the back fully fully occupied you see rain there in the middle we're here at wind rush at volkswagen because we need to change the the battery in the key and they need to program it so we just brought it here sean gone in to do it for me and i'm just in the car waiting we're just in the car waiting for him and rain i just said oh my gosh the car is not running rain sleeps when we're on the road right she sleeps she loves it as soon as the car stopped she woke up so hopefully she don't start crying because she don't like being in the car seat if the car ain't moving that's how she is yeah and also we put on white noise for her to sleep never did that for any of my other kids i don't know why i think i used to put on like baby lullabies the white noise is different kayla sleeps with what kayla you sleep with white noise what you do is white noise as well kind of yeah. kind of because when kayla is sleeping you're hearing lightning and thunder and rainfall on her alexa and all of that so I'm like it's a nice vibe to sleep to you know but for the first few weeks first times yeah the first few weeks i keep thinking like oh my gosh outside raining but it because it sounds so real when you hear like the thunder and stuff like that but it's no it's kayla sleeping to her white noise yeah so we put on white noise for rain obviously not the thunder and all of that stuff what are you doing what did he say can i give him such a big piece isn't it mm. kayla's back there feeding him snacks look at him Kayla, no, don't let him put that in him mouth. No, that's... Oh, that's... Oh. 
Oh my gosh, yuck! Yuck! You hear that, Shakila? Rain. That wasn't rain, that was bird poop. Look! Just look! I thought rain came down, but literally just poo on the car. So much to yuck! I can imagine how the roof look, how we kind of park under a tree. It's a pine cone tree, but I don't really see birds up in there. Jeez! And this car parked up here. Man! Yuck! Hopefully Sean come back in time so that I could use the water and... Do we not have water in here? I sure we have water in here i have a bottle of water in here that's open i'm gonna go and wash it off because i don't want it to let me just throw some water on it before it gets hot especially from the roof jeez river do not cry i'm not leaving because <laughs> you get too at you too attached let's go wash this off yeah because <laughs> oh gosh let's wash it off yeah this is um the building Volkswagen. see there's a little bit there so if i use this yeah man this could do you know bird poops will be full of acid okay it's a lot more let me hurry before they decide to do it again see it already starting to stick so let me just wash it off a bit i ain't to worry about the windscreen i could use the thing but at least i could have these parts why are these parts so stubborn as well hello what you like the car for oh <laughs> Oh, Sean locked the car. I like, what the heck is going on? Can y'all see him? Let me see if y'all could see him. He's right here dealing with the guy. <laughs> I wonder, like, why is she, she killer locking the car? And I'm outside, though. Alan is not off, but we're gonna have to take this car to wash. Sean, bird poop on the car? Oh, yeah, look. If you didn't know, that's how we got in the car. There's a cap on the the door that you can take off to get in the car manually so i didn't even know that you know but obviously every car must have a way to get in manually in case your key um your battery dies so now we got the batteries replaced why do i always get nervous when someone is reversing next to me when i'm parked up is it just me yeah i'm here at tesco um in the parking lot waiting for river's gone river as you can see he's not in the car he went with sean instead of all of us getting out of the car to go in because sean only gone in to pick up a few stuff so yeah every time i am left back in the car like waiting waiting i don't like when other cars coming backing up next to me because my heart is like this and i'm like they better not hit my car you know that's all i'm thinking because sometimes they look super super close and i'm like do not hit my car if you hit my car but the engine is on i always keep it on so if anybody backing up and i'm too super close i'm gonna be honking my horn yeah we're just here in tesco parking lot as you can see are the car park as the brits would say you know i just watch a reel i just watch a reel i'm in here on my phone just going through instagram and i just watch a real reaction to vibes cartel murder conviction being overturned if y'all didn't know they overturned his murder conviction yesterday so i guess they're saying the jamaican government have to decide whether they want to retry him or i guess cut him loose i don't know but i'm thinking that he will be free you know he got all kind of health issues and all of that stuff so and you can be you can be granted bail as well because it doesn't mean that he's off the hook and everything it just means that he can be granted bail until the trial starts again you know trials are expensive so i don't know if they're going to pursue this right now but yeah i was watching a reel and how the people celebrate and said clocks are gonna wear again you know he had that big song it's so funny like i love my people they're so dramatic <laughs> <laughs> the way they react to certain things just have you rooted just laughing non-stop they're just they're celebrating who's that why you left me baby let me guess ah you left me for too long baby vroom 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 oh come in mommy please go come come in come let's go in the car by rainy Let's put Rivi. Oh my goodness. Stand. Oh, sorry, Rev. I'm so sorry. Why you shut down right up like this? Yeah, we were in a car. An hour waiting. Kenny, what's up? Oh, what's up? 
Oh, you were in the whoa, car for like whoa, one hour. River, one hour was in your buying, Rivi. Rivi, do not cry because Dad, you see, he's only going to take the trolley back, Riv. Don't be like that. It's better that I strap you in, right? So that when Daddy comes back, we can just go. That's how we're doing. River, where? Where's this thing for the seatbelt? Oh, your Lord. No, man. Okay, I got it. Yeah, see y'all tomorrow. So why you cry for me? I'm looking at you. Why are you ain't crying when I turn? Oh, you give me my phone. That's my phone. Oh no! I didn't know he was in here yeah. crying. Lord, my baby crying, Cry. guys. <laughs> Lord, <laughs> guys, I just dropped off um Shakela by the hair salon. So we're just leaving. Um, we're gonna get out of here straight and don't put on my seatbelt. So my baby in the car crying for me. I tell you that River don't like when people leave him and not want somebody come out of the car. It's like he wants to go with that person. All like he feel sudden. like, yeah, all of a sudden for real. It's like he feel like he getting left behind, you know? So he wants to go. Oh boy. That's why he went with his father yesterday, with Sean yesterday because he was crying to go and he didn't even care about me. I was like, River, he just went. But yes, yeah, drop her off there and we're gonna go run a few errands and go get her. It shouldn't be long. So I'll show you guys when I'm done. When she's done anyway, so you guys can see. But I'm sure you saw that you're straightened before. But um, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Oh my gosh, why my baby crying so for he daddy? No. Oh no. This is where we are, guys. So there's just a bunch of fruits out there. Yeah, he looking for lich lit. Is it leche? 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 I don't know. Lychee? It's okay. Can you stop crying? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. How are you today? Let's go out and play. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. You can be my friend. I can be your friend. Yeah, so he got across the street by the other vendor to get them. So, guys, there was no lychee or whatever. But Sean got this fruit. It looks something like an apple. Huh? It smells nice. So we're going to try it. We don't know what it is. If you guys know what this fruit is, please comment down below what it is. I thought it was like a guava. I thought it was a guava or something. But it doesn't smell like a guava. It feels like an apple though. But we'll see. You want to try it first? You want me to try it first? You got to take you as my witness my husband just told me i must try it first so he can take care of the kids okay <laughs> all right here goes oh It's a pound thirty each. One pound thirty <laughs> pounds? For one, yes. I don't know what it is. It smells like apple. Maybe it's a kind of apple. Here's that. Jeez, I bite them strong. How come that color's a different. Oh, I, t I bite a different. Look how the color here was shown by. So I look like I bite. This piece looks like it's soft. Let me taste this side then. Carefully, I rip my river teeth out. No, but look how strong. <gasps> no, you bite that strong just now, ma'am. My gosh, don't it hurt? It's hard to bite though. I think I had it before. Yeah. Oh, it's still hard to bite. My God. I'm going to take this one to peel it. This is a peeling type of fruit. Mm -hmm, yeah. What to say it tastes like though what do you think i don't know what it tastes like I guess it tastes like what it is but we just don't know where it is i was trying to compare it to like another fruit kind it of tastes like an apple as well kind of but the texture inside is not like an apple though it's a bit different what's a fruit hard to bite <laughs> but he's tired it's actually his nap time guys i'm here at b and q i said i sean gone inside 
um yeah b b and q it's kind of like home depot if you're watching from the states b and q is like home depot but i've never been in there so we were going to go in there sean went in there yesterday um to pick up some stuff and he wanted to go back to get some more things but i've never ever been in there so i was like i'm gonna go in with you today but unfortunately i have a sleeping baby i have two sleeping babies so yeah as you can see river is passed out so that's why he was crying and fussing and stuff because he wanted to sleep and rain is also sleeping even though she was just fussing but yeah so yeah and here i am in the car waiting waiting hopefully sean don't take long you know when the car stop moving rain she gets up but as long as this car is running she would sleep yesterday rain slept we were on the road for four hours and rain slept for four hours as soon as we got in the house she was awake somebody backing up next to me again see that that's why you see me pause because it looked like she was coming into my car but she didn't I hate it. I hate it so much. That's the thing about being parked. And it's crazy because the other day I went to the shop and as I was getting ready to leave, I heard the car next to me. I heard this loud bang. And when I looked, a car reversed into that parked car. The lady looked and because she didn't see anybody like react or anything or come out, she drove off. She drove off and I was like, what a wicked woman. Evil. How could you back into somebody's car? And I checked the person's car, you know. She dent the person's car. She dent the bumper. She left. And it just dawned on me like, yo, our car. is like how many times people ever bump into our car, scratch it a little bit, and we ain't even notice because every time we come to our car we just jump in the car start it up and we go i mean do you even do do you inspect your car before you drive off i don't i don't think a lot of maybe there's a select few that would but i doubt it with this big range rover going in here oh because i'm like you cannot fit in in this little space yeah so she hit the person car she just drove away she didn't try to leave her information on the wipers or anything she drove off hit and run evil woman so yeah just imagine how many times somebody accidentally bump your car a little bit or scratch it and just they're just gone and you wonder where how that scratch get there anyways i am currently on my last errand i'm here by the meat shop um usually i get meat like usually on a sunday i would get meat for the week so every week we would buy fresh meat instead of like having it in the freezer for a long period of time we tend to buy wheat we tend to buy meat week day. So um yeah, this is where I am and the guy is just over there cutting up my chicken for me. I just love the way how the meat look. It's always really nice and clean. So I always come here to buy it. Yeah, I, mean, I think this is the last errand of the day. So guys, this is her hair. Rain is still asleep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so this is her hair guys. Ooh, so now she have a different look apart from just having braids and all the time yes yeah, so i'm at home now and what i'm gonna do i need to go and put the meats in the fridge and i think i'm gonna cook because i bought some mutton so i think i'm gonna go and cook that thing i am going to cook some curry mutton um it's been a long time since i've had could you guys believe for one kg of mutton 15 pounds i spent 15 pounds let me show you guys before i go just let me show you guys yeah i spent 15 pounds on on this it's, it's one kg i mean i never that's when he told me 15 because what i did right i was like yeah can i just get one kg of mutton he was like boneless or on the bone and i was like yeah just give me the boneless one and he obviously they've got the bag they put it in and then brought it on the scale i was like how much is that and he's like 15 pounds i was like 15 pounds i was like did it go up he's like that's just how much it is i was like i've never spent 15 pounds for that and i always used to buy it but it's been a while i haven't bought it in quite a while so i don't know y'all casa living is just rocketing like skyrocketing and it just keeps getting higher and higher help us May the Lord help us all because I know it's not just us in England, it's everywhere around the world. So I can't even say for us it's going up because somebody else, even I was talking to my mother the other day, she's back in Jamaica 
and she was telling me like hey the food down here is so expensive and not just the food just everything she tell me about it's just super super pricey and i'm like it's the same in england you know even though people might our prices might sound cheap it might sound cheap to some but we feeling it over here it is expensive honestly but just gotta get on with it that's just life but anyway i am going to go and cook this curry mutton i don't think river's ever had mutton so let's see i hope he likes it he will eat it because river has been eating of us down lately yeah he's been eating so good river went from just eating bread pancakes milk porridge to everything now his appetite is just soaring he's just eating 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 and i love it you know wow. yeah so anyways thank you guys for watching this video if you made it to the very end thank you so so much and i hope you guys have a wonderful week ahead or enjoy your weekend if you're watching this happen to be watching this on the weekend love you guys as always and i will see you in the next vlog bye